Hi, I'm Moses. Today we're going to be doing a combustion appliance safety test on this gas water heater. So we're going to be checking it visually for some safety features that it should be outfitted with. For instance, these earthquake straps and this temperature pressure valve, which allows it to, if it fills up a lot of pressure, it'll let it come out. And then you also want to check the venting at the top visually to see if there's any disconnects because that venting is what allows the combustion byproducts to escape the water heater and not go into your home. So then, once we've checked visually, we can do some tests with our tools here. We have a smoke pen, which produces a little bit of smoke that we can watch go into the ventilation. And then we turn the water heater up a little bit to get it running. And you usually want to turn it to the highest setting because most people won't have it set to that and that'll allow you to see how high it can run. And if you hear some popping sounds from it, it usually means that there's a buildup of calcium and minerals in the bottom of the tank, which you're supposed to flush out, but most people don't. Okay, so once the water heater is warmed up, we can take our smoke pen and we go ahead and run it along the edges of this vent and we're able to see if any of the smoke is coming out of areas visually that they shouldn't that it should not be coming out of because if any of this smoke is coming out of the vent then you know that your combustion byproducts namely your carbon monoxide will also be coming out and that won't be safe and this one seems to be getting a good amount of ventilation. Okay, so a couple of last things that we needed to check are these grills that allow air to reach the hot water heater. And they're called combustion ventilation air supplies. And that air is what allows the combustion to occur underneath the water tank. And then we use this monoxer tool to check the carbon monoxide reading within the ventilation at the top. So we check right here, and we should be able to get a reading relatively quickly on what amount of carbon monoxide is being produced. Okay, so this hot water heater has got a relatively low carbon monoxide reading, and so that between zero and about 200 is what we're looking for to make sure that it's functioning safely. And this one is reading in the low teens and 20s, so this is operating safely. Other things that we check on the hot water heater is we want to see if we can install pipe wraps, which will help keep the pipes insulated and allow the heat to stay within them. And then we also want to check that these temperature and pressure piping for the safety valve goes either to the outside as with this one, or to somewhere that it won't affect the house. And we also want to check this gas line to see if it's a modern style and safe one. There were older styles that were soldered in this area, and that soldering tends to get corroded by the gas in the line and eventually wear out and crack and cause an unsafe gas leak. Okay, so the last step of our safety check is that we want to set the water heater to where the resident previously had it because we don't want anyone to scald their skin just because we were here testing. Okay, so this is another mobile home water heater that we're gonna check. Um, so we do our visual check at the top, check that it has the safety straps for earthquake, check that it has the temperature and pressure valving and it's piped to the outside, so that's all good right there. We also see that it's got the combustion ventilation, air ventilation. So it's got that on the lower area. And it's got that pipe in another pipe, which allows a little bit of air to come in through the top. We can also see that it's got a relatively new gas line here and one of the newer styles of gas valves. So those are most likely safe, but we can also check those for gas leaks with our leak spray. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this hot water heater up so that we can start checking how it's functioning. So we've turned it on and we have already let it warm up and we do that for a few reasons. 
So we want to warm up the tank to here if there are any of those calcium mineral deposits built up. Then we also want to warm up the venting on top so that the gas is escaping at the proper amount. And that allows us to check with our smoke pen again, see if the venting is proper. So we've got our smoke pen going. Then we bring it up here and bring it to the edge of the venting. And I can see that all the smoke is going up the vents very nicely. And none of it is coming back out of any of the side areas, which is what we're looking for. Okay, so this has been running for a few minutes now, and you're able to hear some of the popping noises that we can hear when there's the mineral buildup. Now we're checking the carbon monoxide levels out of the top baffles of the hot water heater. And as you can see, we're getting a little bit of a reading going up. And that is the parts per million of the carbon monoxide. As long as we keep numbers this low, we can tell that it's a relatively safe operating hot water heater. And we always want to remember the last step, which is turning it back down to the setting that the residents had it at. 